Pisces. What's up? Trust your intuition that it brought you to this moon message for a reason. So this is your Waxing Crescent in Scorpio love reading. This is covering September 29th through October 2nd. And you know, Scorpio rules the genitalia, the reproductive system. So if you're feeling extra horny, do know it's the moon doing its thing, okay? Someone could be feeling very horny for you. That could be the energy coming into this reading as well. We shall find out. Let's set the intention for clarity, Pisces. Only clear energy coming through these cards. Only accuracy coming through these cards. So let's see what's going on for you in love for the Waxing Crescent in Scorpio. Which is also moving into Sag at this time. What's going on for Pisces? With the Waxing Crescent in Scorpio. What's going on for Pisces? Ooh, we have the Five of Wands coming out. Drama, drama, drama. They're telling me to take from the bottom. This is Leo energy. Leo energy again with strength in reverse. You could definitely be dealing with a Leo. So I feel like it's almost like you're feeling like I can't take the drama anymore. Or whoever's on the other end of this is like, I can't take the drama anymore. What's with the drama, Pisces? What's going on here? Or there's a conflict or a competition or like someone's bowing out, I feel like, with strength in reverse. Hanged man. Yeah, exactly. There's your Pisces energy. I feel like you're bowing out. You're like, I need to see this from another perspective. You know, there's something where it's just like chaos. And maybe you're not even with someone. Maybe there's no one like you're directly arguing with. But this could definitely be the energy. I'm getting two things. One, it could be a past person trying to fight for your love. And you're like, I'm not fighting. You know, if you want me, you know where, you know how to get me, right? You don't have to like drag me through the mud in order to get me. So I feel like that could be one thing for some of you. For other people, I feel like this is just you bowing out of trying to like find the person and find the one. It's just like getting lost in the chaos is not your thing right now. You are in your Pisces bag with the hangman. <clears throat> All right. So let's see what else is going on here. Tell me more about this energy coming towards Pisces. It seems very kind of like chaotic or conflicting in ways or resistant in ways with that five of wands there. And you're just like, I'm done with this. I'm done with the drama. So I want to know more about this energy. Like I said, you could definitely be dealing with a Leo that keeps coming out or another Pisces. Tell me, what's going on with this person in Pisces for the Waxing Crescent in Scorpio? So, oh my God, it's all over this. You're putting up the white flag, Pisces. You're giving up. You're surrendering. You're letting go, letting flow. Like a fish, like a Pisces, it's just like, I'm, I'm not doing this seven days a week, right? I'm not doing this over and over and over until you get your shit together. I'm just bowing out. You're bowing out, Pisces. That's what I'm getting with this. All right, let's flip the deck back over there telling me, okay. Denial, detach with love to clearly see the truth. So this is really interesting because I feel like you're just, you're done, you're giving up. It's like denial, denied. Who, someone's trying to fight for your love, Pisces, and I feel like you're not letting them in. You're like, this is a bunch of bullshit. I'm not putting myself through this. I'm not, maybe I'm not even putting you through this, but it's just like, I'm done energy. Like, why would I stay for this? Why would I put up with this? I didn't sign up for this. Wow. Two just flew out. They're telling me to take them. Okay. We have fulfilled and powerless. Oh, wow. I feel like this is an option. Satisfied, self-actualized, realized. And then with powerless, we have paralyzed, ineffective, weak. So I think that's interesting that paralyzed runs with self-actualized. There's something in here where I feel like it's almost just like a versus. Like I could stay with you and put up this fight and end up powerless and drained and getting nothing out of the situation. Or I could choose me and give this shit up and go with the flow and go with God and feel very fulfilled, feel very satisfied and content. So this is a choice, Pisces. But I feel like you're making the right choice because you're not putting up with that bullshit no more. Yeah, this one's staring at me. You're comforted. You're comforted by the good Lord above, right? You're comforted by spirit. So tell me something Pisces needs to see if there are what's going on in this connection. And it makes sense with the Scorpio energy, all about death and rebirth, transformation. 
Integrity is coming out and you're powerless in surrender. Yeah, you have too much integrity, too much pride to deal with this shit, Pisces. You're like, I no, been there, done that, right? I, I did that 10 years ago with people. I'm not doing this again with you. You need something for the after days for Pisces. This one's coming out very clear, Pisces. I love that. We have the sun in Gemini. You could also be dealing with a Gemini. So sun energy is all about bright, putting yourself out there. Gemini is the twins, right? Back forth energy could be about like arguing too. In the fifth house ruled by Leo, like I said, definitely could be dealing with a Leo. Um, and the sun does represent Leo or is represented by Leo. This is like drawn by passion. Fifth house rules the heart chakra. So this is like fighting with passion, right? It's like that passion-based energy, passion, passionate arguing. But I feel like you're, you're not putting up with that, Pisces. You're like, I no, right? I choose me. I choose peace. So I hope this resonated. Thank you so much, Pisces. I hope you're making the right choice here. I'm sure you are. You're a Pisces, the wise one. And I'm sure I will see you again in another reading very soon.